Um, Hi, this is Glenn Fisher with the Benefit Insights Podcast, where leaders share their insights on employee benefits. It's six questions, nine minutes. Let's get to it. Question number one, in a few sentences, tell us who you are and what you do. My name is David Voorhees. I'm the CEO and founder of True Captive Insurance. We're a 50-state medical stop-loss captive that believes in the concept of healthcare is personal and insurance shouldn't be complicated. What's the best thing you uh, about being in employee benefits? Well, it's cliche, but it's helping people. I think for a long time, it's been thought of a very process-oriented application where renewal benefits, renewal benefits, and maybe you add a plan here, a plan there, but employers are asking for more. Our background is working in the companies we serve, and we know that there is a true desire to be a healthcare consumer and control the spending and add more relevant benefits that your employees can use and feel good about. It helps retention, it helps morale, and we wanna be part of that journey. It doesn't, be, you only see us once a year. We wanna be part of the full journey 365 days. Yeah, I love that. Uh, Question number three, I hear from other leaders that work in employee benefits um, that being able to see what's ahead can be a challenge. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, healthcare is volatile. I think if we had a crystal ball, we would all be under one company and one roof. And and boy, wouldn't that be an interesting conundrum. And I think as as healthcare unfolds, you'll see the unbundling further. Uh, I believe very strongly in the infrastructure of healthcare but we have to change, we have to challenge each other, and we have to expect more from the services that we're providing. So, you know, a lot of people will take shots at carriers, they're the big guys, and it's really easy to take shots at them. I don't think you do this without them, but I do think people are gonna crave change, they're gonna crave variability, they're gonna crave options. And so that means taking the best in breed and all of these different elements and putting them together to create a customized program. It's not just the same, you know, three programs or three plans that were built from some other company 30 years ago, and we just regurgitate them company to company. It's unbundling it and building a truly customized plan that was built for your company and your population. I think that's where we're headed. Um, and and companies are driving that because they are asking for it. And, and more so, they're really demanding it. And it's our job. It's incumbent upon us to meet that need and, and meet expectations. Absolutely. Uh, question four, what piece of an insight do you want to share with employers? Be relentless and expect more. I know uh, I spent 17 years in HR and operations. So when I say I know what it's like to work in those organizations, I do. Uh, I served my CEO and the population that sat underneath our roof. It's not what's in front of you. It's not necessarily what you have to just digest. There are a lot of words that get thrown out there that you may not understand, and you may be embarrassed to ask questions because you think you should know. I was right there with you. Ask questions, demand that you know and understand what's going into your healthcare problem so you can make data-driven analysis-based decisions, you know, and ask for the impossible. Don't expect the impossible, but ask for it. Maybe there's a maternity program. Maybe you don't understand your pharmacy spend. Maybe you have a younger population that is interested in some other dynamic program variable, ask. The worst thing somebody can tell you is no. And if your producer doesn't know, ask them to ask someone. There's a wealth of knowledge out there. There's a ton of people that are excited and passionate to help you take those benefit plans to the next level. Um, And I'm a nerd, I'm an insurance nerd. I love it, I love learning new things. And hopefully we can work with you to learn new things as well. So, So ask and expect that. Yeah, that's great. I, I, you know, that's the one thing I admire about working with you is that we come from the other side of this. We're not, you know, insurance guys. And we kind of just came into this thinking fresh and taking a kindergartner's approach to healthcare. Um, So number five, what other successful leaders like yourself would you like to acknowledge and um, I should have on my podcast? Ooh, that's a great question. Uh, I would tell you I'm a big fan of EHIM. There are some very special uh, professionals that work there that are changing the din- dynamic of the PBM world. You know, everybody does something slightly, but uh, EHIM is, is definitely a, a name out there that I would, I would reach out to. Um, and then BML, uh, Terry Romandi at BML. So they are a TPA. One of the things I respect most about them is they are agile and nimble and they're entrepreneurial. 
So when they think about how do they partner with businesses and they, they handle most of the things, you know, people think the insurance carrier, the reinsurance or the captive does a lot of the heavy lifting. It's the TPAs, but they do a tremendous job of partnering with their customers and making them feel like they're part of the process. And they are incredibly responsive when something goes wrong. You're not waiting on a phone call. You're not waiting on an email. And if you are, they're working hard. So you understand where the breakdown was and, and to do that. So those are, those are two companies and, and two folks that, that I think you should, uh, should reach out to. Yeah, I really enjoy working with uh, benefit management and uh, value health. I mean, there, there are some really good people over there. Um, number six, how do you celebrate a win? Ooh, that's a great question. Well, beverages of the adult variety are a very good, <laughs> very good thing. Uh, my family, so we all love sports. And as it starts to warm up after we thawed out after this interesting winter, uh, you know, we love to watch sports, get out on our patio and just enjoy being silly. But I think uh, it's dependent on the situation. Sometimes it's a high five. Um, I'm not above jumping up and down in the office or in the <laughs> living room, wherever it takes us. But, uh, you know, my, my family is a big part of my life and, and we like to celebrate wins together. And there's probably nothing better than hearing my kids say daddy and smiling. Oh, so he yeah. sees me being silly and he's smiling and daddy. That's usually the biggest celebration I can have on any given day. For sure. Well, David, it's been a pleasure having you on. Uh, tell uh, everyone how people can find you. Yeah, you can find us online uh, at truecaptive.com. Our phone number is there. You can email us at info at truecaptive.com. But the website's the easiest place to get us. You can look at us on LinkedIn. Um, we're on Facebook, Insta, as the kids call it, uh, Instagram. But uh, I, think, I think the website's the fastest place to find us. And, and we're happy to have a conversation and, and learn more about how we can help you and educate you because that's truly our passion is going back to when healthcare was personal and insurance wasn't complicated. This is Glenn Fisher with Benefit Insights Podcast. For more insights, go to LinkedIn and search for NavMD. David, thank you very much. Thanks, Glenn.